guys, it's Lee, and welcome back to another fluid art project here on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I saw on Mixed Media Girl's channel, so make sure you go check her out. I love her channel. So what I'm going to be doing is I have this 12 by 12 canvas and a vase that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to set the vase on the canvas and then do a pour over it. And then whatever rolls off of the vase, I'm going to tilt around and see what kind of picture it makes. So the colors I'm using today are Folk Arts Bright Pink, and I mixed a little bit of this handmade acrylic paint. It just started raining like crazy. It's a glitter paint, and yeah, I just mixed a little bit in and came up with that. I'm not sure how well you can see it. Next, this color is this color is Purple Velvet by Apple Barrel. The next one is Metallic Paint Pink Gold. I got this at Target and that's all I really know about it. I don't know what brand it is. Next, I have Heather which is also from Target, it's Handmade Modern. And that's the same, the silver was the same, silver glitter, glitter was the same brand. Then I have Artist Loft, um, Flow Acrylic White, Cobalt, and Black, and I'm not sure how much of each of those I'm going to be using. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna throw this together and see what happens. So I'm gonna start by mixing all my paints in this Dollar Tree measuring cup and then I'm going to use it to pour over the top. All right, I'm going to move this for a minute so that I can create the cup. Before I get started, I almost forgot, I bought this silicone that I'm going to put in a couple of the colors. I'm going to put, let's see, there's no silicone in any of the bottles, so the white, the black, and the blue. So I'm going to put a little bit in this light purple heather. Ooh, that's probably more than I wanted. I'm gonna stir just a little. I'm gonna put a little bit in the dark. We'll do five drops. I have no idea. Sounds like a good number. And silicone is used to make cells, which just means that the paint from underneath comes up to the top. I think that's what it means. That's what I'm going with. And actually, I'm gonna put a little bit in this metallic. The rose, what was it called? Pink gold, right? Put a little in there too. Okay. I'm gonna start with, oh, well. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of blue and a little bit of white in. A little more white. The colors you put on the bottom are the colors that are gonna come out last, and I don't want it to be all white. So I'm gonna mix those together. Then I'm gonna go with a little of this purple, or this, yeah, this velvet, I think it was called. Some of the gold. The heather. The pink. And this pink does have silver glitter paint in it. Oh, it sank right to the bottom. A little more of that blue. Now remember, I need enough paint in here to cover the vase and the canvas, so I'll be putting in more than you know, probably you think I should. A little white. Let's go back to this uh, purple velvet. The pink gold.
I'm gonna put another cup under here just to hold the vase. Oh, and I forgot something. I also put the vase, put a cup inside the vase to keep it slightly off of the canvas. All right. I like what's going on in this cup. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really cool. So I'm gonna give it a little stir. Some of it's getting muddy there. Put some white on my edges. Oops, <laughs> a little crazy there. And then I'm just gonna start to pour Give it a second. I'm gonna pour a little white in there. Probably ruining it, right? Then I'm gonna pour some more. I'm giving it a few seconds to try to make sure I'm getting everything covered on the vase, all the parts of the vase. The vase really needs to be up a little higher, but it's too late for that right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna help this along in certain spots. To make sure it gets full coverage. Check all around. Okay. And I'm going to keep pouring. And checking to make sure it's all covered. It is. So pretty in there. I'm gonna put this canvas board over here so that when I move the vase over to another cup, it can still drip onto another canvas and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna pick this up while it's still dripping so that I don't mess it up too much. Okay, and I'm going to let that continue to drip off for a while and we'll see what happens there. I'll come back and update you and show you what's happening with the vase. So now let's see what we can do with this canvas, sorry. gonna go around and you know what hang on one second before this gets too crazy I am gonna add a little contrast in before I start swirling too much all right let's go Actually, that's probably all gonna go rolling off anyway. Okay, again, I'm gonna stop, grab my torch, and see if anything comes up.
Oops. <laughs> I'm actually really liking the white veining in there, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going with that. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to torch it again. I was hoping to get more cells in it, but it's not really happening. Maybe a few here and there. Maybe I should... Now, what do you think? Here is what it looks like up close. You can see the blue and the cells in there a little bit. I think I just didn't have enough contrast color in this, um, but it's still pretty and we'll wait and see what it looks like tomorrow. Here is a close up of the vase. Again, we will wait and see what that looks like tomorrow. It looks really pretty on the bottom. So yeah, there's a lot more blue coming through in the vase. But yeah, all right, well, I will check back tomorrow and show you what they look like. So here is the vase, it's dry. Not exactly sure it's what I was looking for, but I'm not done with it. I'm going to give it a couple more days to dry, and then I am going to, it might help if I showed it to you, and then I'm going to put a clear acrylic spray on it, I think something shiny maybe. Here is the bottom, which turned out pretty cool actually, the part you're not gonna see. And here's what it looks like on the inside if you care. So here is the painting or the pouring, whatever you wanna call it. Everybody calls them something different. But this actually, now that it's, it's not completely dry, but it looks so much nicer now. All I could see last night was the purple and not so many of these cells that are showing up. You can really see the blue in there more now. And once it's dry, I think I'm going to spray this with an acrylic shiny spray to glossy spray just to bring out, hopefully, some more of those colors. So I'm actually really, really happy with this. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.